Hello and welcome to another special video view and today we've got the Legendary Heroes New Age Alliance Special Operations Saboteur Manero. Uh, seriously, why do they keep having these long names? <laughs> so yeah, this is a New Age, um, a subdivision of DX9 I believe. And yeah, New Age Toys uh, made a, a legend size G1 Jazz and oh, it's so awesome. It's an amazing figure. Seriously, right now, right out of the bat, I played with it and I just can't stop playing with it. It's so nice. So, yeah, uh, front of the box it looks really odd. The uh, especially the bumper right here looks way off in the drawing. It's not the best drawing, but yeah, it's just a drawing. On top, we've got the same thing. On the side, we've got a Jazz and Robot in car mode, Special Operation Saboteur Manero. And on the side, same thing. In the back, we've got just some of the release that uh, the figures that are already out. So we've got Bumblebee, Cosmo, and uh, Jazz. And in the background, right here, we have uh, Prowl. And in the very background, we have DX9 Dutch. So, hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's open the box. Stop wasting time, precious time. So, nothing in here. Let's drop it. Got this right here. We got the instructions. The instructions are nice, and they kind of look like old instructions from G1, I guess. Uh, we got this. They are sort of hard to see outlines. But at least we have colors and everything, so it's not bad. It's actually good instructions. On the other side, just plain white. So, yep, instructions. They're right there. We've got Manero or Jazz right here, and we've got his pistol. So this. Let's throw this aside. So a tiny, tiny pistol for a tiny, tiny figure. So, uh, that's cool. Uh, looks uh, like his uh, normal pistol would. And he does hold it, obviously. That would suck if it doesn't. <laughs> like so. Really tight. And it holds really good. And here we have uh, Manero, or Jazz, in robot mode. And he looks really damn cool. I really love the figure. The transformation is amazing. The plastic quality is so good. There's lots of paint everywhere. The paint right here, the... the the, um, the the windows are all painted black with sort of a sparkle in him. Got some gunmetal gray, black right here, silver on the tires, uh, black on the feet, black on the knees, metallic blue on the skirt. We got the the, the the grill in front that is gunmetal. We got metallic blue for the headlights, the stripe right here the, the, on top. It's just so many. Paint, even the face, okay, ugh, the face looks so good. Even the face has like blue metallic uh, for the eyes and chrome for the mouth. It's just such an amazing figure. So a head is on a ball joint, so you can spin the head all the way around, left, right, up, down. It's cool. We have these tiny speaker that plugs inside of the uh, shoulder, I guess. But yeah, uh, shoulder, uh, and unplug one. He can obviously hold the speaker also in his hand. Voila. So, speaker in his hand. And you can see the hold right here on the top of the shoulder. And I guess you can plug the gun there if you want to. Well, yeah. It's odd, but it works. <laughs> so, let's remove the gun. The speakers are really nice. They're all sort of a purple color with the inside tip chrome metallic looks really cool and yeah can move this so yeah head articulation covered really good we have sort of a butterfly joint for the arms it's not that much but it works I have ball joint for the shoulder and a ball joint for the elbow plus a swivel so uh, the swivel only goes outside but not in so it's cool and the ball joint is great and the wrist does swivel so yeah do have a uh, waist swivel also the legs does the split and kick on front like this and then back a little bit less but it works 
We do have a swivel at the upper thigh, a knee bend uh, that goes uh, 90 degrees, a little bit more than 90 degrees, and it also goes uh, frontward. Kind of odd, but yeah, it's there. The toe does move up and down, and we also have a tilt on the side, and this joint right here for up and down. So yeah, lots of uh, nice articulation for Jazz. He looks really damn cool. The chest is a little bit big for my taste, but it's still nice. And yeah, let's move him here. And let's uh, move, do a comparison with his uh, New Age buddy. We've got Bumblebee from New Age. So it's really a small one. We've got uh, Prowl right here. That is... Uh, uh, about the same size, but seems bulkier, you know. And we also have Cosmo. So these are all three uh, other figures from New Age. Same company. The plastic is all the same. Feel It's a really solid plastic. And, uh, yeah. We have also DX9's Dutch, which is, you know, their uh, parent company, I guess. So they look really nice together. Really damn cool set. So let's move these. I also have some more comparisons if you want to. So let's just remove the new age ones. Here's the official uh, head mat Titans Return Brawl. Braun, Brawl, Ron. <laughs> uh, come on, Braun. Hold. All right. So Braun. We've got Toy World's Wheeljack. And we have right here uh, Iron Factory's uh, Sunstreaker. This right here. And another one that I wanted to show is the Iron Factory Jazz. So, Iron Factory, eh, it's kind of big, but then again, Iron Factory is also making more of a Cybertronian looking figure. So they look part. We even have the speakers right here. So this one also has the purple speakers. Oop. Voila. With the gun. So, yeah. <laughs> they look a lot like one of another. It's just this one is like more Supertronian car. This is more like G1. So, yeah, I really dig this one though. This one is amazing. So let's remove these back again and let's go for transformation and transformation is quite awesome like literally uh, it's really nice transformation. So first up you want to pop the uh, legs down uh, the, the, the waist down you want to uh, take the hood and slide it forward like this and oops I picked it off. No, just pick it in. Uh, all right. So yeah, just pick it off. You need to uh, bring this, like the, the bring the arms as back as you can, and flip the wheels out squared like this, which will enable you to flip the hood open, which will enable you to drop the head down inside like this. By dropping the head down, you can now raise the uh, roof. By raising the roof, you can now plus, uh, store the hands in. And by storing the hands in, you, need, you can now uh, flip. Oops, I popped it off again. God damn it. <laughs> All right, so by doing this, you plug the bumper down, flip this, the, the wheels down also. And now you could plug the bumper back in front like this. So it's a lot of uh, steps that all depends on each other right here. So the wheels depend on the arms, the arms depend on the canopy, the canopy depends on the head, the head depends on the bumper, the bumper depends on the wheels. It's a full circle. It's insane. But that's how it works. So just be mindful. You just move a little bit every time, half of each, and you're going to get it. So don't... Uh, <laughs> don't lose patience all right come to the arms make sure that the pegs there's sort of a tiny pegs on the back of the arms make sure they face the back of the car and bring them off like this and peg them inside of the shoulder there's some tiny peg holes so bring them same thing here 
Drag it in. Come on. All right, like this, I guess. Yeah, they're in. So now you have the arms done. Oop, this one unpegged itself. So it's really tiny, 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 but yeah, okay, like this. So now we have all the front of the car done, the back now. Flip the calf panels up like this. Bring the foot down and close the toes. So bring the foot down, close the toes. And you want to unpeg the door from the inside of the feet like this and just unfold the thing like four times like one two three yeah three times plus this one that is like sort of a double joint so again on this side so one two three open and now what you want to do is right here you see this is the window you can see sort of a slider you want to bring the uh, wheels it's really hard to do but you need to slide it, slide it up like this by bringing the door down and then rotate it up. I'm gonna do it right here. So you bring the wheels sort of down, raise it up, and then flip it back up. All right, next up you want to bring the foot down and bring this like this, the calf over the feet. So bring the foot down, feet here. Connect the two legs together. Bring the cows all the way down. It's sort of a double joint right here that you need to bring it down like so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the hardest part now. When you when you get there, you have to hook the doors onto the uh, wheels panel. So this is pretty much the hardest part. So bring it one side in. Don't peg it here. Don't peg right here. And do the other side. And voila, do I have it? Yeah, almost. It's really tight, everything fits perfectly, but yeah, you get it. And this is how it looks like the, the, the crotch piece need to touch the feet, and it's that that's the, the hardest part, you know. But we're pretty much done. So we've got jazz in car mode all completed, and oh my god, it looks so good. So this is the Porsche where uh, we are all used to from the G1. So it rolls, obviously. Like I said, tons of paint. They uh, align the, 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 the racing stripes on top, on the hood. The, the chrome, the metallic blue lights, the, the gunmetal gr uh, grill, the chrome uh, wheel, the number four, blackened window, gunmetal on the... Uh, back thingy we got uh, the blue stripes right here it's just such a marvelous car you know and a marvelous paint job and everything there's only one thing that bothers me i don't know if the g1 is like this maybe you can comment if you know uh the blue stripe the, we got a dark blue stripe on top of the hood and top of the uh, car but on the side we have like a light blue on the car is it like this, the original one? I thought like the blue was the same, so I thought maybe this was supposed to be like light blue, this was supposed to be light blue. I'm not sure, so if you can tell me. And yeah, we do have some storage for the speaker, just underneath the spoiler we have this um, hole so you can plug the speakers back in on car mode. So this is really cool, Got some storage. And voila. The only problem is we don't have storage for the gun. This is... Uh, Really weird. Yeah, we do have this thing right here, but we can't peg the gun anywhere. So, really disappointing. Oh, wait. Maybe like this? Oh, yeah. I found a place. It's not that good. It might, uh... Maybe if we put the head down, put this in. Nah. So, yeah. We can slide the handle in, in between these... And the guns hold somehow. The wheel doesn't roll anymore because of this. But, yeah, in storage. <laughs> Still a really nice car. It looks so damn good. Really nice. I, I am so in love with it. <laughs> a little comparison with his buddies. Alright, so we got the Iron Factories Sunstreaker. Iron Factory Jazz right here, so you can see deer. 
they are pretty much the same length but uh, the Iron Factory is a little bit wider but pretty much the same length even though uh, Iron Factory's robot is much taller or, uh, we've got a Toy Worlds right here Toy Worlds Wheeljack we've got uh, New Age uh, Prowl so Prowl now even though he was uh, bigger uh, a little bit bulkier in robot they are exactly the same size in car mode so that's pretty amazing uh, what do we have? We have DX9's Dutch, which is much too small for my taste in truck mode. Uh, another comparison is the Titan's uh, Return uh, Braun. So as you can see, they're pretty much the same size also, so it's pretty good. Uh, a little bit too big for a uh, 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 porch next to a futuristic Humvee, I guess. <laughs> And just set these aside, we've got the New Age Bumblebee. So these two are pretty nice. They look pretty good together. And just because uh, we've got New Age uh, Cosmo. So <laughs> a good set right here. But yeah, we want Jazz. And Jazz is an ex excellent figure. It's really one of my favorite again this year. I've got like three figures so far that are excellent. <laughs> <laughs> got this one. We got uh, Toy Wolves Bulldog, and uh, where's the other one? Uh, oh, uh, Action Toys uh, Steam or a uh, Loco. I really love these three so far. So yeah, number three on my uh, list of best figure 2019. Uh, Jazz New Age. Seriously, go and pick it up. Uh, if you if you didn't already, already, it's a worthwhile figure really nice quality is awesome transformation is fun robot mode looks good car mode looks even better <laughs> it's also pretty cheap so it sells for like 25 24 dollars so yeah it's no brainer from there so just go and pick it up awesome awesome figure yeah new age uh what was the name manero new age manero which is jazz so, yeah, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget, uh, I'm going to get some more stuff. i got tons of more toys to review, so where do I find time for this? <laughs> Alright, so thank you for watching, and see you next time.